Hello artists. Next we're going to work on our planet and we're going to work on making a rocket for your space scene. So I'm going to turn my paper around so my planet is close to me. We're going to work with chalk in order to make our planet. That way we can do something called blending. We can blend the colors. If we look at this art by artist Peter Thorpe and you look at the planets, are his planets just one color? They're not. They're usually at least two or many, many more. But they do have something similar where on every planet he's got this lighter colored ring and then it's darker colors on the inside. And if you look closer, a lot of those colors are right beside each other on the color wheel, like blues and purples. Or we have some red and some yellow and some orange up here. They're beside each other on the color wheel. That's for a reason. So you're going to look at the color wheel and find two colors that are right next door to each other. And you're going to put the lighter one on your pencil line and then the darker one on the inside. I don't have any green on here, so I'm going to go with green for mine and yellow is beside it, so I'm going to have yellow. So I'm taking the yellow chalk and I'm tracing my pencil line. If you get off the line a little, that's okay. And then I'm going to color a fat line beside it with the chalk. So this is a thick line of chalk. Then I'm going to take that green. If you want to use more than one kind of color, like if you want a light blue and a dark blue, you could do that. I could put on a light green in here and then do a darker green. So we do the lighter colors first and the darker colors second. You can kind of do a controlled scribble inside here, that's all right. Yes, a little is going to get on the table. Then you're going to have some kind of tissue or paper towel. I'm going to rub, I'm following that ring that I traced. And I'm going back and forth and it's blending the colors together. And now look, we have this amazing sphere on our page. So what we just did was something called value. We have lighter areas and darker areas on the same object. That's value. And that makes it look like it sticks out, like it's three dimensional. Once your planet is all done, we're gonna set that to the side. You will have newspaper, a piece of tag board. This is a little thicker than regular paper. And we have rockets to look at. You can always design your own. These are just to give you ideas for your rocket. Whatever kind of rocket you make, we want to use the space that I am giving you on this white paper. So stretch it clear to the top, clear to the sides, okay? We're going to draw it with a permanent marker. So mistakes will become happy accidents if you have any. So I would focus on what's the main shape of the rocket first. So I'm gonna start at the tippy top and draw the main shape of my rocket. I'm not connecting at the bottom yet. That way if I add extra things like these little fins that stick out, I can do that. Okay, then I'm going to draw the fins on the side. The fin that goes here. And now I will connect the bottom, bump and jump, and draw where my fire comes out of the engine. You can always break it into sections, like this particular rocket, it's in two sections. The trick to make it not look flat is you need to take the line and curve up. Or if it's down low, curve down, and that will make it look round. And then if you're going to add any little rivets, or windows or a little sign on the side that says NASA. You can do that. Don't draw little itty bitty teeny tiny things to stick out of your rocket ship because this is going to get cut out later. Once it is drawn, you are going to need markers and you want them 
to have, you want it to have one that's lighter and one that's darker. And the lighter one needs to be used first. So I have the purple and the blue here. And I want to use my blue first because it's lighter. And like you saw on artist Peter Thorpe's work, we're going to make highlights and shadows. So I just made a highlight on my fin. I'm following the top edge of the fin. And I'm using the side of the marker so my line is fatter. If you can't do that, then just keep coloring until you have a bigger section. Or over here. I'm gonna make a big section. That's the lighter color. So you see this a lot on Peter's work where he has these stripes of lighter and darker colors. 